the fourth game in six nights. Something here. like that, yeah. I mean, we've, we've, six. Yeah, we've played a lot of hockey this week. And, you know, we, we thought to ourselves after the second period, you know, I, I thought in the second period, you know, we, me and Shafi, we, we started thinking that we looked a little tired in the second period. And, you know, we felt it was important to go in there and remind the guys, you know, that, hey, bring it up. We played a lot of hockey. But let's just forget about that and just empty the tanks in the third period. I mean, just empty the tanks. Give a couple days off of rest, get rest. But we had to get the win, you know, and that was the whole thing was just empty the tanks, put ourselves in a good position uh, to, when we're heading out to Utah, protect home ice. And again, disappointing to give up the shorthanded goal. Again, we <laughs> can see my, you know, a couple bounces tonight, you know, just uh, didn't go our way. But uh, with that one, too. Um, but again, we found a way of getting the job done. Before you started the playoff program, it wasn't planned. What have you seen from them since you? Well, that line reminds me of the way they were playing, you know, before I. I Thompson got called up to San Antonio. You know, that was our best zone time cycling puck possession line was Pearls with G and, uh, and with Zid. So, you know, they're, they're playing some good hockey. You know, they're getting in there. Um, what I like is they're not just playing perimeter. You know, they had some really good shifts tonight where they had dumped the puck in, they went and retrieved it, they put the work in. Um, I think the guys are all committed going through the net. You know, you've seen the one goal, uh, Zid was jamming up the net front. The other goal, Tom, uh, uh, Thompson was really jamming up the net. So. You know, that's what we need, and, you know, that, that line really, you know, was a spark, you know, the whole night. Pearls with two and Belzy with two, right, I think? So, and Zid with the empty netter. So, you know, um, you know, some top guys, you know, stepped up tonight. Um, two games enough to really uh, rev up the hatred between the two? It seems like it. Yeah, you can start seeing that for sure. You know, I think there's definitely, um, you know, you can hear it more when you're on the ice level, you know. But, um, hey, it's... This is playoff hockey. It's going to be desperate. Uh, they're going to be extremely desperate. We've been in this situation. We know exactly what this feels like. So, you know, we'll, we'll get rested up. And, and obviously, we're excited to go to Utah. It's going to be a big challenge for us. Um, but it's, it's nice to protect home ice. Are you guys still getting better? Well, I think there's still areas of our game that need to get better. You know, we've, we've shown some inconsistencies. But, you know, that it's going to happen from time to time. I think the number one thing is, you know, trying to be consistent in the game plan. You know, again, we as soon as we get away from that, that's when always we run into trouble. But when we stay consistent with that uh, for three periods, you know, we're a pretty good team. It's pretty interesting to me. I mean, I feel like you guys are getting better even in the last two weeks. Well, that's like, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's what you want. You want to keep trying to trend, you know, in the right direction. And I think, uh, you know, again, it, it could have been easy uh, to maybe not trend the right direction after that lengthy seven game series, you know, um, a lot of emotion went into that. So there's definitely, you know, some concern a little bit on, on my end of how we were going to come out in game one. But again, we came out with energy and and uh, scored early, you know, in both games. So, you know, the guys energy levels has been pretty impressive to me. What's the difference between Cincinnati and Utah in the fact that basically you guys have the upper hand now and in the Cincinnati series they have the upper hand there? Well, you know, I th sometimes, you know, it's, it's just uh, those first two games against Cincinnati, the mistakes that we made really cost us. Uh, last night, they almost cost us a game. It was a tight game last night. You know, both of these games have been pretty tight, and I think uh, it just happens to be timing a lot of times. You know, like, you know, if we had a big mistake, you know, it's maybe we get to save this series that we didn't get or we get a, you know, got to get a bounce, you know, this time around. Um, you know, there's several different things, but I, I think our game – like Blake said, I think it's improving, you know, slowly but surely. You said you mentioned fatigue. I mean, you've got a bunch of guys that haven't played yeah. much or, or yet. I mean, do you think it will maybe make it any easier to see how they feel over there? Yeah, we'll see how they feel. I mean, again, we're very confident in our Black Aces guys. I mean, they're, they're working hard with Shafi. Um, you know, they, they, they put the work in. You know, Martin has been doing a great job of working hard in practice, and I know he's – He's ready and eager. They're all ready and eager to get in. You know, I'd be disappointed if they weren't upset about not playing. But it's a great group of guys, and it's a good locker room. And, um, you know, right now, if, if everybody's healthy, the, the group right now is getting a job done.